Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a foundation review and demo for y'all today on the Make It Forever Water Blend Face and Body Foundation. So I just recently got this in gratis from Sephora, so I've been playing around with it, so I thought I would do a little video for y'all. So we're gonna do like we normally do in my foundation reviews. I will talk about the claims, we'll talk about the pricing, I'll do a little demo and show you kind of like how I apply it and what it looks like on the skin, and then just share my final thoughts and review and how this foundation works for me. So let's get to it. So the price of this foundation is $43 and you get 1.69 fluid ounces in here. It's really pretty packaging. It is glass. Um, it does have a pump, so that's really nice. I wear it in Y245, which is soft sand. Now I'm gonna read you what the Sephora website says about this foundation. What it is, a lightweight water gel face and body foundation that provides sheer to buildable coverage with a natural looking dewy glow and flawless finish. What it does, the iconic face and body foundation is back and better than ever. Formulated with 80% water and enriched with pro vitamin B5, water blend face and body foundation hydrates and improves your skin's elasticity. The super lightweight formula allows you to customize your foundation result from sheer to buildable, providing your desired coverage level with a fresh dewy glow. The long lasting unique water gel texture applies quickly and easily then sets to ensure that it will not transfer throughout the day. Ideal for all skin types, this foundation is available in an array of 20 shades to match all skin tones. It says this revamped modern formula is the next generation of the original and iconic Makeup Forever Face and Body Liquid Makeup Foundation. It's a makeup artist must have makeup to give skin a lightweight, stay put, flawless finish. So those are the claims. I'm gonna talk more about those in a little bit, but I'm gonna show you a demo first, show you how I apply this and what it looks like on the skin. So let's get to that. So I've already applied some moisturizer, so now I'm gonna use a little bit of primer. I do find that this foundation just works better for me with a primer, so I'm gonna use one today. And the one I'm gonna use is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer Blemishless. And I'm just gonna apply that all over my face, but kind of start it and concentrate it in my T-zone because that's where things start to break down the quickest on me. So that's where I'm gonna concentrate it. Now I'm gonna take my foundation and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply this side of my face with a brush, which is the way that I usually apply foundation. So that's what I've been doing with this foundation. But then I'm gonna use a beauty blender on this side just to see what that would do and to give you guys more information. But the way that I have been wearing it is with the brush. So that's what I'm gonna start with. And I'm using my Delium Tools 957. It's like a little kabuki kind of a situation. So this is a very watery foundation, just like it claims to be. And it's very light coverage. So I just find that kind of like strokes rather than buffing seems to work better but that's because I prefer a little bit more coverage to a foundation. So I'm trying to get a little bit more coverage out of it. So that's why I'm kind of like doing little strokes versus like really buffing it into my skin. Okay, so there is the one half with the brush and now I'm gonna do this half with the Beauty Blender and kind of Pounce that in and see what that's gonna do. So, that looks like I'm not wearing foundation at all. So, yeah, I'm gonna finish this out, but I'm thinking I'm gonna go back over this with my brush. So here it is with basically one coat using a brush and two coats pretty much using a beauty blender. So you can see the beauty blender side is extremely sheer. You really can see like most of my skin through it, my under eye discoloration, kind of like some discoloration in here. It really is just a super, super light coverage foundation, especially with a beauty blender. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back over my face with one more layer using a brush just to kind of show you like how you can build this up a little bit and what kind of coverage you can really get with it. Sometimes 
sometimes I kind of stipple with this foundation, but I really find that just this kind of motion with a brush, it's like a little short little tappy swipey motion, whatever that would be. I find that that is like the best kind of coverage that I prefer personally. But um, I mean, you could pounce it on, but I just find that this is the way that I like to use it the most. So here it is with just about as much coverage as I can personally get out of it. Um, so you can see, you can still see my under eye discoloration, a little bit of discoloration on my cheeks, um, a blemish right here, you can kind of still see that. So it is very, very light coverage. I would say sheer to light, moving towards medium, but I would not call it a medium coverage, definitely not a full coverage. Um, as far as a finish, it's very kind of like dewy and has like a, a glow to it. So it's very skin-like. So if you are not a foundation person, you don't like foundation, you don't like the feel of it or the look of it on your skin, I would say definitely give this one a try because it's the most um, light skin-like foundation that I think I might have ever tried. So it's very, very, very light, sheer coverage, very skin-like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup and then I will be back with more thoughts. Okay, so here's what it looks like with all the rest of my makeup on. So you can see, once you get you know concealer and powder and everything on, you do have pretty good coverage, but I think that has a lot more to do with the other products that I used versus this foundation. This is just a very sheer foundation. So the coverage that you're seeing at this point, I think has more to do with the other products and less to do with this. So that's just a side note. Um, so let's go through the different claims, kind of run through those and just talk about, does this live up to the claims? Oh, one thing I wanna to mention to you, it does have a little bit of a scent. Like I really can't smell it right now from the bottle and I can't smell it on my skin, but when I'm applying it, I can smell it. It's kind of just a light perfumey sort of a scent, but I wouldn't say it's super off-putting, but that's just a little side note, I do smell a little bit of a perfumey smell in this foundation. Okay, so what it says, um, let's see, formulated with 80% water and enriched with pro vitamin B5. I assume so, I don't have a way of verifying that other than it feels nice on the skin. Um, it does feel very watery, it kind of feels different than other foundations that I've ever used. Very liquidy, very watery sort of feeling, so that seems to be the case. It says, improves your skin uh, skin's elasticity, I hope so, that would be really nice, but I don't have a way of verifying that, you know, other than if I wore it for a really long time and watched my skin really closely, but I hope that's the case. It says the super lightweight formula allows you to customize your foundation result from sheer to buildable. Yes, I would say that's the case. It doesn't say anything about being a medium or full coverage foundation. It says I'm a sheer foundation and I'm buildable. And I would say that's what it does. You know, it starts out sheer and it is buildable to be like up to a light sort of a coverage. So yes, I would say that's true. And then it says um, your desired coverage level with a fresh dewy glow. Yes, definitely very fresh, very dewy, very skin-like. It really looks pretty on the skin, but you have to like that dewy sort of a look on the skin to enjoy this foundation. It says the long lasting unique water gel texture applies quickly and easily, then sets to ensure that it will not transfer throughout the day. So how this wears on me, my skin kind of changes from day to day, season to season. It has a mind of its a mind, has a mind of its own, but it just kind of changes a lot. So right now it's kind of like combo normal. Um, and this is working for me. Now it does start out dewy. And once I set it, that kind of helps a little bit, but the dewiness, you know, comes back pretty, pretty quickly. And I start to get dewy slash oily, I'd say around the like five hour mark. Um, but it's not breaking down yet at that point. Now, once I got to like the seven, eight hour mark, I was looking at my skin and it really didn't look like I was wearing very much foundation at all. You know, this is very sheer, so it's not like you really start out looking like you're wearing a ton of foundation, but I did notice it breaking down a little bit, but it was quite a bit later in the day. So it's not like it instantly did that. Um, so I think it has really good like longevity for how sheer it is. So I think that that's pretty much true. You know, I don't think this is gonna be an all day foundation, um, but 
I would say it lasts very well for the amount of coverage it starts out with. So my overall thoughts and review on this foundation and just who I think it would work for, you know, I really do like it. And I think I really like it because it's kind of something different. You know, it's very light feeling. It feels light on the skin. It looks light on the skin. It looks just very skin like and it's not your typical medium to full coverage foundation which i feel like there are a ton of options like that out there so i just feel like this is kind of something different so i like it for that reason um will it be a go-to for me probably not because i'm typically more of like a medium coverage foundation sort of a gal so those are more what i reach for on the day to day but i do have those days occasionally not often, but I do occasionally have those days where I wake up and I'm like, you know, I feel like very fresh makeup today. Like I could see this foundation with just a lot of lashes, a girly pink lip, and just kind of like a minimal fresh makeup look. So that's what I'm probably going to be reaching for it for. So I think it's really, really pretty for that. Another reason I really like it is I think it delivers on its claims. You know, it's not doing anything that it's, it doesn't say it's going to do. I mean, it says it's sheer, it says it's buildable, it says it's a watery foundation, it's a, you know, all those things, it delivers on what it says. So I like that about it too. Um, who I think that this would work for or who, or who would enjoy it? You have to go into it knowing what you're getting. You have to like sheer coverage foundations, light feeling foundations, a dewy glowy look on the skin, not necessarily um, like an all day or like wears like iron sort of foundation because I don't think it's really that type of a foundation, but I would say if you're looking for something light, easy, airy, glowy, skin like, I think you would really, really like it. And as far as skin types, I think it would probably work for everybody except for maybe super oily. I think that might be a little bit of an issue for super oily skin, um, but I would say combo to dry, I think it would probably work for y'all. All right guys, so that's my overall thoughts and review on the Makeup Forever Water Blend Face and Body Foundation. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video and hope it was helpful for you. Please give a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below what you think about this foundation. What are your thoughts and opinions on it? I would love to know that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.